So you're experiencing packet loss and you're trying to fix it using a VPN. Now you can't really use any VPN and you want to use the correct VPN. So kind of tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. And they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN and your own preferences and budget, of course. There are a few things you want to keep in mind. If simply put, a VPN will improve your ping and packet loss if you have a bad ISP with bad routing. Now, using a VPN on a dial-up will not magically make your internet connection faster. A VPN is just a dedicated routing service. More often than not, a much better routing provider than your existing ISP. Now, do note a few things before you subscribe to a VPN. It will not just magically speed up your uh, internet and improve your ping unless you have ISP bad routing issues or you're just connecting to the wrong servers and you're not able to manually switch servers or anything like that. Uh, so what you want to do is, first of all, you want to use the right VPN. Second of all, you want to make sure that whatever client you're using if you're, let's say, on Blizzard or Steam or whatever it is, you want to make sure that, for example, if you're on a Blizzard, you're going to have to click on the region that you want to play in before you connect to the VPN. And you want to connect to the VPN region that you're selecting on your client on Steam. I'll go to uh, settings and make sure that my download region is the same region where my game server is and where my VPN server is. So in this case, if I want to connect to Modern Warfare, for example, the French server specifically, I'm going to have to, first of all, use the best performing protocols with any of these VPNs. So ExpressVPN will be the lightweight UDP protocol, uh, the NordLynx protocol with NordVPN and the WireGuard protocol with Surfshark. And then I want to make sure that the VPN server that I'm connected to is as close as possible to the game server. So if I'm playing Modern Warfare 2, I want to make sure that I know where the servers are and I want to make sure that I connect to the VPN server that's closest to the game server. Let's just for the sake of the example, let's say I live in Portugal and the closest server to me is the French server. I want to connect to the French VPN server make sure that my download region on Steam in this case is the same as my VPN servers. And of course, you want to make sure that your VPN server is as close as possible to your game server. So that way you will eliminate the distance between your game server and your VPN server so that you can get the best connection and lowest ping possible and reduce packet loss to the minimum. And this is how you can use a VPN correctly in order to reduce packet loss. You can't just get any VPN, connect to whatever server and expect your ping to magically improve. Make sure to follow these steps and let me know about your findings in the comments down below. And if you're interested in learning a bit more about these VPNs, you'll find everything you need in the description down below with regards to reviews and links to pricing and discounts. So that is pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a wonderful day.